as we celebrate the 100th year of Maryland basketball, one of the all-time greats, Tom McMillan, comes in. I heard a story that you were a surprise recruit to Maryland, and you showed up to get your student picture taken, and people went, oh, my God, Tom McMillan's here, not at North Carolina. How'd you end up being a Terp? It's a long story. I don't, probably couldn't give it to you to answer in about 30 seconds, but uh, it was a last-minute decision. I actually had committed to Carolina. I changed my mind and came to Maryland. So my brother had been here before, you know, so I've been involved with Maryland. My brother came here in 63 with Gary Williams, so that's almost 50-some years. So, What's it like playing with the, what they'd call now another twin tower with you and Len Elmore? Well, it's, it's great to see Maryland have uh, a tandem of big men uh, that can play together. So it's kind of fun watching them. And, you know, I think they should play together as much as they can because that will only make them better. And it, it does bring back memories when I played with Lenny. So. Well, as I said, I've been coming to Maryland for over 50 years when my brother came here in 63. And, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of ups and downs. It's uh, part of it. But, you know, it's, it's great to be part of this tradition. And, uh, you know, Maryland, Maryland's had a lot of history, but it also has challenges. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're a program that we, we, we're always trying to, to get better and show the world that we're that we are better but you know I think over time Maryland basketball is a brand and I think it's been a well-respected brand. So. Terp Talk welcomes nonprofit services as a new sponsor. NPS has the services to make your nonprofit shine and on top of that NPS is certified by Nano as a capacity building enterprise to drive your development further and faster. You can reach NPS at 877-797-8776 or on the web at npsbusiness.com. Nonprofit services. We make your nonprofit work. Thanks for being a sponsor of Terp Talk. What's your favorite part about when the calendar turns March? I mean, you know, watching, or is, obviously you watch differently as a former player. Well, it's so different now. Uh, you know, March Madness is 68 teams, and it's, uh, I wish we had 68 teams when I was playing. That's the only thing I, I regret is that we didn't have, uh, you know, as many chances to win a national championship as they do today. But uh, it's great. It's great excitement, and college basketball is a very unique, uh, very unique entertainment. So. Do you regard the game against NC State as the greatest game ever played, or is it different if you were in the game? Yeah, it was a very well played game. Uh, actually, the commissioner of the ACC just sent me uh, the tape of that, which I appreciated. I was watching it the other day. You know, it's, it was a very flawless played game, and uh, it's a different game. You don't have a three-point play shot. You don't have a three-point shot. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very different game than today. A lot more physicality today, uh, but it was great entertainment. I thought the I thought the game goes up in the, in the certainly the top five of best games of all time. So, well, it was a very, very Herald team. We had one, you know, we were undefeated as freshmen, and so we came into. Uh, our, fresh, our sophomore year with lots of expectations. I remember the one sobering element of that year was we went to Virginia. We got beat pretty, pretty good, and I think that taught us a wonderful lesson because we went on to win the NIT without even really breaking a sweat by, by much. And uh, back then, the NIT only had 16 teams and only 25 in the, NBA, in the NCAA. So. It was a lot more, uh, it was a national championship, and you know, it was a great way to end the season and to show people that we really, you know, were a great team. Did you see the, uh, this team taking a similar lesson out of the game than every other night? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's always better to have those lessons earlier in the season rather than later, but uh, yeah, they, they, they have to come to play. And this, is, this is a very talented young team. They 
have players that can go deep, about eight, nine players to play the game. And that's a wonderful asset to have. It all gets down to you got to go out there and play every night. But they could surprise people as they get into the playoffs.